welcome back to my channel so I'm gonna start off with my James Charles palette dipping into these two colors right here and I'm gonna apply that to my lid and just blend it out then I'm gonna just apply this brighter orange to the top of my lid and blend that out as well Now I'm just gonna cut my crease using my LA Girl Pro Concealer and my flat brush from Icon Cosmetics and I'm just gonna do a quick cut crease with that. Now I'm just gonna take this bright orange pigment and apply that all over my lid with my morphe brush as you can see some of it kind of spilled because this literally gets everywhere and i'm just using the cover because you really don't need a lot this pigment lasts a very long time and i'm just applying that using parting motions Now I'm taking my Cherimoya gel liner and this flat brush and just creating a wing liner. Listen to me, I haven't done liner in a quick minute. Trust me, like this made me want to wear liner even more. Like, do y'all see that? Listen to me. You can obviously more wing liners for me, trust me. just went ahead and added a lash from eyelash of course in the style celeste now i'm just scoping out the part of my face that i want to be like the neutral part before the pumpkin and i'm just using an eyebrow pencil to outline it now i'm taking my foundation and primer and applying that all over my face y'all know i love to prime so this this is just a regular step for me and I'm just applying that in the places that I'll be um, applying foundation. Now using my wet beauty blender of course, I'm just blending that out. Just taking my small Morphe brush and my airspun powder. I didn't show it, but y'all know the drill. I'm just setting my face with that. Now I'm taking my paint and I'm using the red and yellow to make orange and I'm just applying that all over my face. I mixed it in the cover of the paint to just make this pretty pretty orange color. <laughs> using this small detailed brush to apply the paint in like the crevices where the bigger brush couldn't get just to have a more cleaner appearance <laughs> Now 
I'm just taking this big fluffy brush and setting my face with that same air spun powder just so the paint wouldn't move when I apply the black paint on top of it. <laughs> taking this small detailed brush and the black out of my palette and creating a triangle right above my eye listen to me I realized that I made the triangle too too big but I still made it work in the end <laughs> And as you can see, the triangle does not have to be perfect because you're going to be filling it in with paint anyway, so you just need an outline. And now I'm taking this big flat paint brush and I'm applying the back paint all over that, covering my eyebrow and my lid and everything. <laughs> taking that same small detail brush and creating a triangle on my nose as well because you know jack-o-lanterns they have a triangle nose so <laughs> that's just what I'm doing with that and filling that in with that same detail brush <laughs> This is just me getting hyped because I am actually seeing progress in the look. Now I'm taking that same detailed brush and carving out the jack-o'-lantern's teeth. I'm just making an outline. Like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect because you'll be filling this in with black. Also, it's Halloween so nothing has to be like crisp and you know in line. It's just, just do it how you feel. Now I'm just taking that same big paint brush and applying the black paint to the teeth. Like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect because you're just filling it in. So this is just my progress of filling it in. <laughs> small detail brush again and I'm really making some detail on the teeth because the big brush couldn't get like in the crevices so as you guys can see this brush comes in handy because it's just like refining the edges <laughs> of the teeth as you can see I'm just using a bigger paintbrush because that's like the end of the teeth so you can use that to fill that piece in as you can see this is another sigh of relief because I was seeing more progress now I'm just outlining the outline that I created with black paint this part definitely doesn't have to be perfect because it's a jack-o-lantern doesn't have to be perfect <laughs> Now I'm just adding these little cracks or branches in it to give it more detail to make it look like it's kind of cracking in a sense if, if you know what I mean. <laughs> I'm just taking my Jaclyn Hill palette and I'm adding some depth to the cracks well to the division of the two sides basically to give it a more 3d effect <laughs> Just 
adding some like this peachy color to add um even more 3d effect because it gives it like a contrast from like dark to like and like that'll be like the source of light <laughs> some more depth to the cracks at the bottom as you guys can see <laughs> what I'm adding to my face I started off a bit too dark but it still came together in the end so I just used like the rustic orange color and like a dark brown to and I, and I also use red to give it like an even more 3d effect <laughs> so much for watching make sure you guys like comment and subscribe and happy halloween